Hey kids, it's time for another Bible story. Let's get right to it. God's Promise Remains, Part 11. Even though God's people were far from home, God still spoke to them. God sent more prophets. They spoke all his words and wrote them down in God's holy book. The prophet Ezekiel wrote that one day God would raise up the temple and give his people new hearts. Isaiah reminded them that God's forever king would come from the family of David. The prophet Jeremiah was hopeful too. He said that Israel would return home again in 70 years. Seventy years passed, and the prophet Daniel prayed to God. He asked God to remember his promise, and God heard Daniel's prayer. Finally, God's people went home to Jerusalem. They returned to the land, but they had a lot of work to do. Jerusalem and the temple were ruined. Can you see the people rebuilding the city walls and the temple? They worked very hard, and when the foundation was finished, the people celebrated. All the people shouted loud praises to God. They were happy. With trumpets and cymbals, they sang to God. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. But many of the older men cried. Can you guess why? They cried because they remembered Solomon's beautiful temple and knew that Israel could never completely rebuild God's place. They cried because they still longed for God's forever king to come. The New Testament, Many Silent Years, Part 12 Years passed without a single word from God. And the years turned into many years, and the many years turned into hundreds of years, and the great promises of God seemed to fade away. Israel became less important in the world. Other nations became great, strong nations, powerful nations, whose kings ruled over God's people. One such king was Caesar Augustus. This Roman ruler thought he was very important. One day he wondered to himself, how will everyone know that I am the great Caesar, the Roman ruler, the king of the world? I know I will count all the people under my rule. Surely that will show the world how great I am. So Caesar, the Roman ruler, the king of the whole Roman world, began counting all his people to show everyone how great he was. What Caesar did not know was that God, the world's true ruler, the king of the universe, was getting ready to show everyone how great he was. God was going to end his many years of silence. God was going to keep his promise of a forever king. And do you know how God was going to do this? Not like Caesar, not proudly by counting all his people, but humbly by becoming one of his people. In the power of his spirit, God would bring his forever king into the world as a baby.